Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here and welcome back for some more EVE Online. And today's video is going to be a discussion video because I want to talk a little bit about the latest dev blog that CCP uh, dropped on us. Um, there's also some other changes happening in game as well that uh, are not announced. They're, they are in the patch notes, uh, but uh, it all has to do with minerals, resource distribution, and it is potentially going to greatly impact the game. So I basically want to quickly uh, take a look at the dev blog and talk a little bit about it. If you want to read along, as always, you can go to eveonline.com, then you click the articles link, which brings you here and down here we can find the dev blocks with Moon Mineral Distribution, the latest dev block released by CCP. Um, so they start out explaining that CCP is working on an endeavor towards a healthier mineral distribution uh, throughout New Eden. Uh, this has begun in December. We saw that CCP changed the um, asteroid mix in regular belts in 00, zero increasing the value of Tritanium basically and increasing the value of Mixon as well to noticeable rebounds in some of the minerals. These changes felt like pretty interesting. I also made a video about how uh, the, the uh, minerals have basically shifted uh, from being um, very cheap close to zero zero and more expensive in the trade hubs to switching that around because uh, especially Tritanium which is uh, less available in zero zero um, became something that they wanted to import again the value in 0.5 systems close to zero zero actually uh, saw higher prices in Tritanium all of a sudden very interesting I love that stuff of course EVE Online is a big big sandbox and uh, when you start to tweak or to ch make changes to the very foundation which is of course mining for minerals uh, then uh, you are going to get some uh, pretty interesting and probably some unexpected results as well now here ccp is basically explaining uh, a little bit more what they have in mind when it comes to all of the changes that they want to make and first of all the plan consists of three phases and we are going to enter the shortage phase something that uh, i feel is very uh, risky but potentially, of course, you can understand where this is coming from. Uh, capital and super capital proliferation has been considered a problem for a very long time. Uh, we also see that um, right now any rebound in mineral prices gets uh, crushed very quickly uh, by supply, which is probably going to be massive, massive stocks that are still available uh, throughout New Eden at the moment. After a shortage phase, they're planning for a redistribution phase. Um, if the current uh, if the current changes give us any uh, clue as to what is happening, my personal expectation is that they will uh, go back to a system where you actually have uh, regional differences. I feel like it's not an accident that uh, Tritanium went up in value and is something that is very easy to mine in at much lower yields in HiSec uh, and that they basically also want to give HiSec miners something to do, something of value, something that basically they control the market for. Uh, so the redistribution I, I, I think uh, is going to be very interesting but the most interesting part of course is after that they want to go to a dynamic distribution phase, uh, something that we've seen CCP Hilmar talk about uh, in some of um, the latest appearances that he's done uh, throughout the um, EVE Online World Tour and uh, there of course the dream is to have a system where if you basically overpopulate, overcrowd uh, regions then the available uh, resources are going to just uh, drastically decrease as you basically overmine uh, your resources or you overburden uh, your fields that, that, that you can actually use uh, and then of course that is going to mean that other regions somewhere else will have more resources thus forcing you to maybe move to mine offensively things like that I'm hoping that this will include HiSig uh, but also that they are allowing for a difference as I've said between the spaces give NullSig something that is very specific where they get high value uh, from something that presumably should be decently easy uh, to, to gather and to transport and things like that so that they get uh, you know a, a decently high reward uh, for the extra risk that they potentially have to take but also give something to low sec give something to wormhole space and give something to high sec um, which can be like the, the cheapest minerals in the mix of course but at least give them something so that that there's a reason to mine there as well i feel like that's 
part of a necessary balance uh, in EVE Online. But yeah, a dynamic distribution system, I think, is something that everyone would love, right? Uh, if you overdo it in one place, you're going to eventually be forced to look for greener pastures, which should, of course, increase conflict as well, unless... Um, the EVE Online community becomes so organized that they'll just start to find the best uh, turnover uh, in, the, in this dynamic system. Uh, but we'll see how that works out, of course. Uh, what this means for the uh, moon uh, minerals is that they are planning changes for that. This is honestly the first... Uh, bit of warning that we got uh, for uh, for the redistribution that CCP is doing when it comes to resource in EVE Online at the moment and they're doing that because moon mining is a time sensitive activity. I also want to make this video because I have a moon that uh, creates a belt uh, Thursday every two weeks and uh, the next one is coming out should be tomorrow uh, from the time of the release of this video and so you know the schedule um, and of course if people do plan around that uh, it might be worth it to give him a heads up that this is going to change. Uh, that should be coming for the next release. Yeah, during the next release, a significant change in how minerals are distributed on moons is planned. You should expect the following changes. Complete removal of all basic ore types from all moons. I'm not exactly sure what that means yet because mine have like Arcanor, Nice, then one uh, take two variant basically for, for the good old moon minerals. Um, from the old moon mining system and then there's there's one more i think arcanor is is, is probably the most valuable uh, that uh, that I have there because of its yield of um, of megasite. Uh, but yeah, also expect adjustments on ore volumes extracted per day per moon. So is that going to be a nerf? Is that going to be a buff in certain regions? We can't be sure just yet. And then also adjustments on moon ore type yields of basic minerals. We can expect, I think, a big nerf there in the basic minerals that will be yielded by uh, these moons. If CCP wants to have a shortage phase, what they cannot afford to have happen, of course, is that all the big alliances just start to mine every single moon available in the game. Uh, just for those minerals, uh, if they want some actual depletion there, they are going to hit this as well. And this is basically their warning. Uh, they're also saying that uh, they're going to closely monitor all of that. It is understood that the changes that will go live throughout phase one so that's probably going to mean the shortage phase <laughs> will affect the macroeconomic environment and the market reaction will be closely monitored predictions have been made and the readiness to take measures is in place after all the industry is an integral part of how minerals are consumed and as much uh, as such it plays a great role in the mineral markets behavior as well as current stockpiles in inventory something that i just mentioned as well no stone will be left unturned in the mission towards a better future so this dev blog i find very interesting when it comes to trying to understand the plans that ccp has when it comes to the resource distribution if we look at the patch notes as well and the nerfs when it comes to the uh, available availability in anomalies in zero zero uh, it's pretty obvious that they want a real shortage phase that they're willing to take very bold steps now i'm going to give this a little bit of time to make sure that ccp hasn't made any mistakes because uh like uh, um, 1,000 of the previous number feels kind of crazy. Uh, so, so let's make sure that everything is exactly the way CCP plans uh, to bring it out. But if that is the case, uh, we should see a massive, massive impact on the... Um, mineral market number one of course but also potentially the compressed ore market could be something to look into uh, if ccp uh, with their dynamic system maybe even with their redistribution as, as well and with the shortage phase of course uh, does create real bottlenecks and the need to export and import certain minerals depending on the space where you're doing your industry it could be a huge huge buff uh, to compression and so uh, don't just start refining everything because minerals are going up uh, i would say uh, be a little bit patient uh, we'll have to see how all of this works out but i find it very very fascinating this is both very risky but i agree that for the long-term health of the game uh, something like a dynamic distribution phase uh, is of course the ultimate goal and uh, if ccp is now making a roadmap and finally making changes to the game towards making that happen if that is the final stage of all of these changes i think uh, that i'm absolutely 
absolutely on board with that and uh, it should make Eve talk very very interesting uh, in the upcoming weeks and months so I look forward to that um, I'm going to keep my moon running uh, just as I've been doing for the last what is it one and a half years or so two years maybe even uh, every uh, Thursday uh, every two weeks uh, is when I, uh, I uh, create a belt there we'll see how this changes when it comes to the mineral distribution because all of that is going to change with the upcoming release but my plan right now is to ride out a storm and then to adapt if need be uh, because of course mining Veldspar could become very very profitable all of a sudden uh, in an orca with augmented mining drones um, super super interesting times for me personally uh, a shortage phase is not what i would have expected um, I, I, while i can understand the logic of it there is definitely this big risk of well incredibly expensive take one ships all of a sudden is this going to um, discourage uh, alpha players from um, you know from from uh, getting straight into the pvp and things like that on the other hand you know earning your first battleship can finally have some real value again uh it's it's gonna be super interesting i think and uh, yeah we'll definitely have to keep a close eye on that let me know in the comments what your thoughts are uh, thank you very much for watching and as always i'll see you next time